Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Lean did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me, the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Alan Wake. We'll start a brand new episode with a recap of what happened last time. And a brand new place as well. My head was about oh, to explode Jesus. and the light hurt my eyes. Oh, my head is about to explode here. Well, first of all, from this wonderful JPEG of the beautiful view of the New York uh, cityscape via a JPEG in our window, but that's besides the point. Oh God, please do something about the noise in my ears. It's, it's killing me. Oh, please pick up the painkillers. Pills here. Go max pain on, on, on me. I, I don't care. Just stop. Make the pain stop. Make it go away. The pills worked fast. Oh, Jesus. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Whew. Wow. Nobody told me that this was a simulator. Ah, the glasses, there we go. Great start. Uh, the sunglasses oh, made yeah. the world look bearable. And then it also now made me look pretty cool. Like no, not that sun. cool. Now that I look at him. Eh, it's a nice place. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Nope. <laughs> QR codes <laughs> in the game. I'll never get used to this. Oh, look at that. That's that thing that crushed Marilyn Manson. <laughs> uh, okay, listen to the message then. You have one new message. Thank you. Oh, are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey. You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice was TiVo? The, the hell is that supposed to be? How about I talk to you never, Barry? What in the hell kind of mouse is that? Is that... the realistic representation of a mouse in 2010? Something tells me that it's not the case. <laughs> the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Is that a product? Is that another product placement thing? Uh, of which there are plenty in this game? I guess it might as well be, okay. That's one way to, you know, turn on the television. Just slam your hand on the remote control. That ought to work at some point. Wow. Can't can't tell what where what's the resolution? The, which resolution is worse? The television frame or the picture in it? Well, that's very presumptuous. Just because they bought the book doesn't mean they read it back to back. You silly TV presenter. If that is your real name. Thinking, man. Bad riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the. Hey, roll credits. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment. Over here. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. 
Somehow, even though Alan is sh is shaved here, he looks way older than in the actual game. Also, you know, very nice of Alan to uh, take the time to shave as he went uh, piss drunk to his home and before he collapsed unconscious and drunk on his bed. You know, always take the time to shave before the bed. That's a normal procedure, right? You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh man, well that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. He tried to pull my face off. Well, I did also write several books. Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who have You've already made that joke. And that's, and that's all we have for you tonight. It's sort of branching into my territory here, mister. Oh, hello. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't yes, see I lived it. <laughs> okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? You I want you to look at me when you talk to me, you know first of all. Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Uh, no. We are again. actually playing on Nightmare. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Well, good times. Good times. Seems like seems like it was forever ago. Somehow, the clicker uh, was the key to the Excuse cabinet. me? I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. What is that ridiculous frame drop about? Yeah, like that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this. Uh, excuse Sarah, me? Gun. What? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. The commission I got from you was the best ever. Flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I mean, it's I just your imagination, I imagine. To get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Well, good thing we're headed there in the middle of the day. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to us in this sort of circumstances. Right. Right. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. With a handgun in my hand. To let doubt creep in one last time, I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a no. delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time. Ooh, we start with three flashbangs. That's a gone mad heavy load. For Alice's death, like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Yeah, okay. Well, this is a nice this is a nice departure, <laughs> pun intended. Um from the gloomy night uh scenes we've been getting lately. You know, it's nice to drive around in the daytime every once in a while. Take a look at all the Verizon and Energizer uh commercials. There's a logging area ahead. 
hold up. Wait a minute. Could there be something down here? Ah, see? The nose, nose. Now to just not drive off a hill. I'm gonna operate under the assumption that nothing's ever gonna attack, attack us in the middle of the daytime, even though we are in the shadow here. And there we go, I was right. Let's get out of here. We are one. Flashbang and one, I believe that was flare gun ammo, richer for it. So that was a worthwhile time investment. Where are all the people? Who just leaves their, you know, uh, machinery? Just... Out in the open like this. Oh, that's, that's just great, isn't it? Uh, I guess the workers are not the only ones leaving their cars uh, unattended. Uh, the darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again. Yeah, into let's let's get into the light while we can. Oh shit! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Well, so much for. Traveling during the day We don't have a lot of ammo to deal with these guys At least the Alan had the common sense to grab the lantern as he left. What happened to the hunting rifle man? We were so well equipped now this Okay, let's take stock we got four flashbangs four flares just five bullets Yeah, that's that is definitely an issue. Thankfully, we got our trusty Lincoln MKX here, available for purchase. <laughs> well, probably not anymore. But I get the gist. Okay. Well, I feel much safer now. Thanks to 5 Star and Cap Rating, the Lincoln MKX will protect you even during the most horrendous of crashes <laughs> uh, okay yeah I feel no shame in you know driving past these people might as well there's a majestic hotel probably want to make a stop here since there is an emergency box outside we could use it to resupply we definitely need it. Let's get inside. Might wanna, you know, try f uh, clicking the clicker again. See if that does us any good. Okay, a shotgun. That's also more Based than. The signature in the motel register. Ooh. Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Interesting. Shotgun is more. More than. Uh, acceptable. All right. Room number two. Is this the one? We well, got some revolver ammo. Oh. This had yep. obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. It's nice of him to, you know, leave some supplies for us before we he got uh, <laughs> consumed by the dark presence. The, excuse me. Oh yeah, that's this shotgun feels right. Don't think I didn't see you hop the fence there, buddy. I got my eye on you. I got you in my sights. No running away from Mr. Alan Wake. Uh, is there a way for us to get inside of this room? I wonder. The answer is probably not. Even though it is, uh, like, properly textured. And doesn't have JPEGs of curtains <laughs> on it. Okay. 
Uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay. I guess the fence hopping animation doesn't mean anything these days. God. In my time! Etc, <laughs> etc. Et yeah! All right, let's keep going here. Whoa, okay. All right. Yep, we definitely gotta keep moving. I'm not sticking around to find out what these tractors are all about. Ooh, is that a Ford? That's a Ford. Branded one at that. That's a Ford Flex Limited Edition, available for purchase. <laughs> I wonder if you, well, you never get to drive one of these in the game. Didn't splurge enough. And product placement there. Ford Motor Company. I imagine. Okay. Oh, barrels. Actually, a whole lot of shit. I'm getting tired of it. Huh? Yeah. What the hell? Uh, what is going on? Yeah, I don't like this one bit. How am I even supposed to? Oh, I guess we use this side. No! Freeze! Freeze, you damn thing! Oh, that, that, that gotta hurt. That's a, a few broken bones. If I ever saw an accident like that. Alright, what's next? Oh, another barrel. Barrel laughs. Box, defend me! Oh, sort of did. You know what? Fuck you! I'm not afraid to use my... ...consumables to full extent. Uh, no. No, I'm gonna run away. You don't scare me. Well, you kinda do. That's besides the point! Oh, fuck! For fuck's sake! No. Please tell me this thing won't reach me in the corner. How would I like this? And maybe uh, one of these? So far, you know, you're not doing a whole lot of harm to me. So I'm quite happy with the situation. There we go. God, that was so loud and. Okay. Well, never better. <laughs> Made it through. And now shut up and drive, 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 drive. What was your plan, honestly? Oh my god, what happened here? Uh, what is that? Dude, that's a freaking monster truck! What in the world? You wanna race? Oh, we can race. We can race! You asshole. If I can make it up this hill. Oh, come on, let's dance. Let's dance, you're not getting away from me. But you, you thought that you, could be, you would be hunting me. But I was hunting you. These frame drops, I have already explained it in one of our previous videos, but I honestly couldn't tell you what the source behind them is. Okay, you are you are done. You are actually gone. Get out of here. Let's 
same goes for you. Now let's see if we can make it to the barn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the barn from which the god shines his shines his light, or so it seems. That's what we wanna be. Okay. Maybe there are items upstairs. I mean hopefully there are. Uh, a single flare could be worse. Could be nothing. But yeah, this whole chapter seems to be like one massive gauntlet of enemies. Not that I'm complaining, but it, it is a big uh, departure <laughs> from the previous poor gameplay loop. Yeah, we we'll, we'll probably want to switch switch the vehicle here. Our previous one is pretty banged up. Okay. Bright Falls Deer Festival. Oh yeah, of course. How could I forget? Uh, there's an earthquake now. Apparently, okay. Yep. Holy shit. Holy shit! Yeah, things have escalated quite quickly. We definitely want to switch to the pump action shotgun. And we cannot drive this car. Okay, some oily things. In the middle of the road, that's always a wonderful sign a sign that you go in the right direction anyway okay so what now oh that's a whole lot of dudes come to Papa oh yeah work like a charm I think Maybe this guy lived, and the one I just killed. More ammo. There's actually ammo all over the place. Which, you know, makes me uh, quite wary. You can learn about it, about propane! Damn it! Aw, oh, you son of a gun. If all the enemies we're gonna be facing in this tunnel are these, uh... Weak ones, then I'm perfectly okay with that, okay. Unless they, you know, we get fucking swarmed with them, okay. This is a good opportunity to use a flashbang. Where are they at? Oh, okay, there are actually like 10 billion people around now. I feel like this. Yep, got him. Where would you probably move? Get to the light, get to the light, just get to the light, forget everything. <laughs> ah. Pretty dodgy scenario there. All right. So I'm guessing we gotta go this way. Larson's auto salvage and used parts. So we're going to a car dump. Dump. Well, we are going in the right direction, so that's positive. Smile! You are being watched by our video surveillance camera. Okay. 
well in that case. Anything in the shack? Hey, what's in the shack? <laughs> uh, yeah, please don't come alive and attack me. That would be just the worst. A nice happy chest. Oh, you thought you were... Oh, well, this guy was pretty. This guy had the right idea. Allow me to uh, restock quickly here. Where you are. You think you can run away from me? No, not on my watch, mister. What was that in that chest? Like a bunch of flares? Maybe a couple of flashbangs? Propane tanks. I see. What do you want me to do here? Oh. <laughs> Work like a charm. Uh, thank God Mr. Alan Wake is immune to the effects of propane tank explosion. Right? Uh, okay. So tell you what, we're gonna use the shotgun to kill the, uh, the rest of the enemies. And then switch to the hunting rifle on our way out. How does that sound to you? Oh. Don't like the sound of this one bit. I heard like some tippity taps. Like people were walking on metal. And that was not Alan. As far as I can tell. Well, we got an emergency escape route, should we need one. And that to ki Oh, you. I'm not sure he even saw me. Oh, hello. Yeah, you won't fool me again with the same trick. Wow, this guy was just... <laughs> this guy understood that he was way in over his head. Yeah. We don't have nearly as much ammo for the rifle as we do for uh, the shotgun, but I always prefer a rifle to a shotgun for its damage dealing capabilities. I think I think this was the right way to go. <laughs> Seems like it, like it anyway. What the hell kind of car dump is this and why is the, why is the bulldozer back and do will we have to fight it probably yes if I had to guess but I digress yes <laughs> uh. hey it's a generator friendly oh, robot generator pal and it's in him for a while what did that do god that's just creepy honestly like this car wreck circling around you spin me right round baby right round like a carcass uh, by a crane Baby, right round. What the hell was that about? What just happened? Oh, I knew it. 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 Oh yeah? What's the plan? What are you gonna do now? I, I, I have outsmarted you silly machine there how do I like that not a whole lot not a whole lot of good being 
big and strong when you can't make use of it, huh? How does it feel to be bested by superior intellect? We can't even spell words properly. <laughs> Not very good, I imagine. Let's make use of that. Yeah, what the hell kind of car dump is this? It's like this is like some sort of end of the world shit. Seriously, look at this. It's ridiculous. Who even sets up all these piles of rubble? I don't see a crane in you know in in the vicinity. Oh! God, okay, that kinda that kinda scared me. So our car is probably fucked, which means we can't really make it uh, through. Oh, but there's another one here. Okay, this is good. This is good enough for me. Um, honestly, guys, as much as I'd like to uh, keep going, I think that I'm going to cut it here for today, because we are fast approaching the end of the game, and I'd rather... Uh, Make it nice and even between the episodes. So, tune in next time for what might be the conclusion to this uh, rather short-lived Let's Play. It's a pretty short game, and we've completed a good uh, portion of it when we previously played it. Before I took a <laughs> break that was too damn long. But I don't... I, uh, I keep rambling. For some reason. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Alan Wake very much. Tune in in a couple of days for another one. And as always, take care.